In this video, we are going to focus on cash flows from investing and financing activities. Now, let's just take this one step back. You will remember in our operating activities, when we need to calculate our cash paid from sorry cash paid to suppliers and employees we've identified that we will have to take out any proceeds profit on the sale of an asset from our profit and loss now while this is still fresh in your mind let's just talk about the why do we need to do this in our cash flow from investing activities we will have to disclose our disposal or proceeds of ppe now, if you think about the journal on the debit side, if we sell an asset, we debit our bank with the selling price. We credit our PPE, carrying amount, and credit our, let's say, profit. Now, this profit amount is the amount that you had to ensure is not included in the above information in your operating activities. Remember, it might be included in the sales as well. You don't know. You will have to read the requirement extremely carefully, please. Right. Now, this amount here, the bank amount, should be included on the face of your cash flow statement as a proceed. Therefore, plus, you will identify that I've taken out the excess. Right. Therefore, a plus proceeds, it's an income. Okay. And if you look at the first line item in investing activities, we have a purchase of plant and equipment. If we purchase plant and equipment, we will debit our PPE, this will increase, and we will credit our bank. Therefore, if we credit our bank, this will be an outflow of cash. We need to take this out. Right, now, if you look at our cash flows from investing activities for me, and you look at the left side of your screen, you will identify that I've included a statement of financial position template. Right, now, if we focus on our investing activities, remember, this will include your assets of your statement of financial position. Therefore, all of the assets which we have not yet covered We've already included our inventories and trade and other receivables in our operating activities as part of our web. Cash and cash equivalents is included on the face of our cash flow statement at the bottom. Therefore, you will have to reconcile these accounts to be able to identify if there were any purchases of plants and equipment, if there were any purchases of associates, of financial assets, and so forth. Then I just want to highlight a very important section here. Disposal or acquisition of subsidiary net of cash. NB, NB, NB. Now, why net of cash? Okay. If you think about disposal, we will receive. Therefore, this will be a positive and inflow. If you think about acquisition, we buy outflow of cash. But what does it mean net of cash? Now, when you look at the right side, Basic, basic example here, just for explanation purposes. Let's say we buy a subsidiary. We have an outflow of 100 million because we buy. Think about this, debit your investment and we credit your bank outflow. But by buying that subsidiary, when we consolidate, that subsidiary has a cash balance of 15 million therefore we receive this will be included we receive the 15 million cash therefore the net effect is only an outflow of 85 million the net effect is only an outflow of 85 million now let's say that we sell our subsidiary right we receive a hundred million this is an income debit bank credit investment and subsidiary we had a cash balance included in the group of eight million which we now need to take out we do not have this anymore because we've sold the subsidiary and this will result in a net income of 92 million okay 
then when we look at our cash flows from financing activities, when you look at the statement of financial position, this will be our equity and liabilities section. Therefore, again, you will have to perform reconciliation of these accounts to identify the in and the out from your bank account. Important, remember, deferred tax is non-cash and your tax payable is included as a separate line item on the face of your cash flow statement. But you need to read to identify if it's included in operating, investing or financing activities.